Paul Turgeson with Oregon Farm Brokers. I'm here to introduce a certified organic farm in Southern Oregon, which includes olives, kiwis, and hemp. Craig Fairborn, manager at Popeye's Girlfriend, Oakland, Oregon, on 100 acres of a USDA organic certified farm. So this organic farm started out, just the idea stage was to find a, a perfect location for uh, olives to be grown in Oregon. And uh, how long have you been working on this? Let's see, what, it started in 2012? And this was just little bitty trees then, and now we're actually getting there. Now it looks like you're moving yourself into a place where you can start producing. Yes, we're, we're getting that way and we're starting to get some new fresh growth, gonna be flowering on, so it's looking really good for this year. The anchor crop for this farm is the 26 acres of hardy kiwi berries. So, and you can see down the rows, we've got ground spray nozzles on at uh, intervals in between every single plant. Uh, that allows the water to, to spread and, and the roots to spread. So in the summertime, these, uh, uh, this, this will canopy over oh, yeah. and, um, and it'll increase your fruit production quite a bit. And so keeping this organic, uh, we just mow everything down. What it does is it allows, uh, when the canopy fills over, it keeps the ground moist. And also it uh, promotes uh, some of the flowering, some of people call them weeds, but it keeps right. the bees healthy. The bees. And, uh, and the bees are, are what keep critical. The bugs to yep. sustain the farm because we are organic. If we don't have this here, we sprayed it, we wouldn't have any bugs. It's, it's a challenge to manage an organic farm, but if you know what you're doing and you do it right, you get results. Yes, absolutely. So the lifeblood of this farm is from Ford's Pond, which used to be an old logging pond. And right now it's the, uh, the Class A effluent from uh, the city of Oakland flows into here. So that means, Class A means it's cleaner than uh, river water and it's the last step before it drops into the um Umpqua River. Well, this farm pulls, uh, pumps out of the lake into a holding pond. And from the holding pond, it, ru it runs up to the top of this hill and then eventually, runs on down to the farm on a main line where it starts to lateral out into the different crops. It's a really efficient way of getting the water to the property. They've got about 80 acre feet of water that they can use. They're only using about 30 of it right now on, the, on this current farm right here and with this, uh, their rotations for their last hemp harvest. So there's more water for them to use for, uh, and for uh, a vineyard or an organic vineyard. Uh, this particular piece of ground right here is uh, they're working on getting its uh, USDA uh, organic certified status and uh, it'd be uh, a great partner to have somebody, um, you could buy this separately to put in an organic vineyard uh, to complement what we're doing over here on the uh, organic farm. Mm -hmm.